In this video, I want to talk about ribbon. Ribbon really adds a nice element to cards, and I tend to use a lot of it. So I want to show you, first of all, how to tie ribbon a couple of different ways, and how to save ribbon so you're not using as much on your cards. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ribbon. Normally, when you're tying ribbon onto a card, a good rule of thumb is to use three lengths of the card to tie your ribbon, and that'll give you enough to go around the card as well as to tie the ribbon itself. One thing I do like to do is use just a little bit of adhesive on the back here, put it down onto your card, and then you can go ahead and tie it, and that'll just sit a little flatter for you. So normally I just tie it into a knot, make sure that it's fairly tight, sitting flat, give it a yank, and then you can just cut the ends off if there's any frayed edges. So notice when you tie ribbon this way, you do have a nice flat surface. So this is great if you're going to be tying ribbon that's going to show inside a card. But you'll also notice it used a lot of ribbon, in this case more than 16 inches. So I just want to show you another way to tie ribbon that doesn't use as much. And when you use ribbon as often as I do, that's a good thing. What you can do is just take your adhesive and just put a little bit of adhesive on either side of your card and just tuck about a half inch onto that adhesive, wrap around the front of the card, and go to the back. So this piece here is six and a half inches. What you can do now is assemble that onto the card front, take a piece that's four and a half inches, put it underneath, tie your knot, do the same thing, trim your edges if needed, And here you've used 11 inches of ribbon. So this is how much ribbon you've saved by doing it this way. So this is what I often like to do unless the ribbon's gonna appear inside the card so that I can save that. If you wanna do a knot instead of a ribbon, I like to just take my ribbon, tie my knot freehand. One thing I always do is just tuck my thumbs inside my loops here. So that way I don't lose the knot and I've got a nice round, bow that I've made. Just tie it. And then what you can do if you want a fishtail on them is fold your ribbon in half and then cut out. So you cut from the piece that's folded to your outer edge going down at an angle by about a quarter inch. So you'll see that gives you a nice fishtail. I'll do that on the other side as well. So if I'm doing this, if I'm putting a bow instead, I'll just take my knot off and I'll just adhere it onto the card. So that's another way that you can add ribbon to your cards. People always ask me what ribbon do I recommend starting with, and I always recommend starting with the blacks. So either the narrow grow grain, which is a quarter inch, or the wider grow grain, which is five and an eighth inch in black, because it goes with so many of your different card projects, and it just works really well on your cards. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions on ribbon or anything rubber stamping related, please let me know. Thanks for watching.